All right, I'm gonna flip the axle on this trailer. I have a lifted Jeep. The receiver on my Jeep, the center of it, is 22 inches high. Right now, just for reference, the back of this fender with the tongue on the ground is 16 inches high. It's a carry-on trailer I bought at Lowe's for a good deal. It's on sale right now. So I'm going to flip the axle and see how much higher I can make it because even with this 7 inch drop, the trailer still just has a big downward angle towards the back because the receiver is too high for it. So. I'm going to flip the axle over and see how much higher it ends up making the uh, trailer. I lifted the tongue off the ground, stuck a jack stand under it. And I put jack stands under this right here. And that's the point I used to jack it up at, right on the back. So I'm going to flip it now. All right, I took the front bolts out of the uh, leaf springs they got this little ridged area right here looks like it holds the bolt in when they hammer it in um, which makes it hard to get out unless you turn it a bunch of times and then you can hammer it out with a rubber mallet but the the nut was 7 8 and the bolt was 13 16 because of these ridges you don't even need to hold the bolt with a wrench when you take the nut off the 7 8 nut then turn this a few times with the 13 16 until it smooths out and you can hammer it out with the rubber mallet and there's like the cheapest little dab of grease on there so I'm going to grease the whole thing when I put it back alright I took the U-bolts off um, this piece here it's hard to see because of the light let me get on the other side the uh, once the U-bolts are off the back spring will just slide out of this and then this nut I already checked will fit in the hole that's in this welded on tab so when we just spin the axle around this nut will go right in that hole and I still got to do the other side also I forgot to mention I had the axle supported with my jack when I took the front leaf spring bolts out after I was done, I lowered it down, and then I'll stick my jack back under the axle to put it back in place once I get it flipped over to get the leaf spring bolts back in place. And I'm gonna use blue Loctite on everything. They painted over the threads, and it pretty much held everything in place, so. My son's spinning on the chair. So yeah, I'm gonna Loctite everything when I put it back. All right, it's done, it took about an hour. Still got to lower it down, left it up so you can see it easier. The uh, thing went together real easy, a floor jack and a rubber mallet. That there, your best friend for little taps to get this line back up, put back together. Went together real easy though. Um, when you tighten down your U-bolts, make sure that the little bolt is in the middle of the plate and make the sides even. Don't tighten this side down all the way and then have the plate angled up in the air and this side barely tighten. Tighten them all about the same. Um, yeah, it went together real easy. It's much higher off the ground. I'll lower it down and do a measurement to compare it to how it was. Alright, so here's how we had it sitting at the beginning of the video with the tongue on the ground. And I measured up to the back fender like this. And before it was 16 inches. Now we're up to 19 and a half. So we gain two and a half inches, three and a half inches. Yeah, three and a half inches. So yeah, that's much better. Next I'm gonna hook it up to my Jeep and see how level it looks. Also, after flipping the axle on the trailer, this is what it'll turn your ramp angle into. So it'll make your ramp a little steeper. So if you're trying to ride a Harley up it or something, you might fall over. So it gained some height. 
as you can see it's still a little higher in front but you can imagine how bad it was sloped before I raised it up um, really happy with the results it's got a lot more ground clearance now and I'd like to thank Jordan Eprata of Pennsylvania your review on Lowe's gave me this idea I never heard of flipping an axle before so thanks man